Hi, this is Mark Wilshire. Thanks for choosing to listen to this episode of the Explore Finland radio show. Um, I've been away for a while, but I'm back. And I'm back because I've kind of been inspired to do so by my friend here, Glenn Murray, who's decided to launch his first YouTube channel called The Nordic Tourist. Um, hi, Glenn. Thanks for speaking with me. Yeah, hey, Mark. Um, what was the inspiration behind The Nordic Tourist YouTube channel? Well, basically, I moved from a very tourist, touristic area of Australia. And so when you wanted to do something on the weekend, all you had to do was look for the information on the internet and you were able to find it. Having moved to Finland and having lived here for seven years now, I found that it's quite hard to find information on the areas around the Etelopochiaman region, especially in uh, in in English. And some of the some of the locals don't even know some of the places around here. So I feel like uh, I want to showcase as as I'm now like a foreigner, but I see the I see Etelopochiaman from an outside, the foreigner's point of view. But I'm a local now because I've lived here for so long, so I'm a foreign local. <laughs> so I see what the Finns don't see, and I want to be able to share that with everybody, so that people come here when they come here on holidays, they're able to just look up my content on YouTube, because there is no other content on YouTube about the anything there's no english at all um and that's why i think maybe the tourism market tourism market in this uh Etelopohiman region is is maybe not doing so well it, it's not the fact that they don't have anything they actually have a lot more than the rest of finland but it, it just feels like the the marketing and and the knowledge about this area isn't what it should be it's very similar to my inspiration for starting the podcast like six and a half years ago speaking to our friend Paul and having the realization that we as foreigners see Finland very differently from someone who's lived and worked here all their life Mm -hmm. and the things that are mundane and everyday to the Finns are exotic to us who've moved here later in life and and perhaps even more so for you moving from a hot dry part of Australia to to this well, at the moment we're in January 2021, and it's uh, snowing outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it, it, it. This area is quite flat, but but people people think that that the area being flat means it hasn't got anything to do. It's quite the contrary, actually. Yeah. There's there's quite a lot of um, mountain bike territory around this area. Um, there's a lot of uh, walk tracks, and there's a lot of I've I I don't think I've even done like 10% of the larvals that are in this area, which are a fireplace where you can have, you know, a fire. And it's this thing about yeah. about walking through, down the track through the woods to this place where you can start a fire and cook just basic sausages or whatever. It's, it's the thing that I take everyone that comes to yeah. visit here to go and do at least it's, at least once yeah it's weird it's like going on a camping trip but when you've only got an hour to do so <laughs> yes right <laughs> and uh, you um you found us somewhere to go and visit for the, our first kind of collaboration together you you were saying that this region is typically flat but you found somewhere less flat for us to go and visit yeah no i'm um, over near the the satakunta border in the kauhanev and pohyakangas national park area mm. there's a part called katika it's a canyonous area within uh within the confines of etala Pohyama and mm. it, it's quite it's quite uh it's quite hilly and it has some nice running creeks at the bottom of the basin of it that run all year round so it's a it's a very nice part of nature, and you can visit it all year round too. It's a quite a nice. It has a larvals, it has bridges. It's quite well maintained, but it's kind of off the beaten track as well. And not a lot of Finnish people know about it unless they live around the area of Kartika. And and so it's got running water even now that it's like minus ten, minus fifteen. Yeah, no, they've got a waterfall there. I'm not sure it. It's it's probably still running underneath the ice there, but we'll, we'll okay. check that out when we go out and check it out. So this is a like a, a nature track in and around a canyon with running water in the middle of January. Yeah, yeah. It's snowed in there, it's but it's it's quite a nice area. It's a bit steep in some of the some of the uh, climbs and that, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be knowing that it would have snowed and then, you know, there might be a bit of ice 
which could be a bit dangerous. Well, I'm going to put my I'm going to put my spike shoes on. I'm, yeah. I'm going I'm going well prepared. Well, I I might just just chance it and give it a go. Okay, let's see let's see how that works out then. Yeah. Um, and this is this listener is how things are going to be from from now on going going forward. What Glenn and I are going to do is visit parts of Etelapochia, similar to as I've been doing with the podcast, but whereas in the past the podcast has been the the kind of end result now that I'm working with Glenn, it's going to be kind of part of what we're doing. We're going to use this. We're going to find our local kind of experts to tell us about somewhere that we should visit or an activity or maybe a historical site. And then that will come out as a podcast like you're listening to now. But then Glenn and I are going to go out and actually film some footage for his youtube channel the nordic tourist and then of course we'd have the we'd have the show notes as well so you kind of get a a a more rounded picture literally moving pictures to go with the to go with the podcast but this will be kind of the similar kind of interview show wherever possible and then glenn will do his video video work there um i'm looking forward to this katakan canyon yeah yeah. um so am i I'm, I'm putting my putting my life in your hands, so oh. let's hope there's an episode two of us working together. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, All right. Glenn, and thanks, um, thanks for listening to this short episode of the Explore Finland radio show. Remember, you can find me on social media on Facebook, Explore Finland radio show, on Instagram, Mark Wiltshire, um, and the website, which is explorefinlandpodcast.com. And for uh, for videos on YouTube, I'm at uh, the Nordic Tourist on uh, YouTube and um, on Instagram at the Nordic Tourist with dots in the middle. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but searching for those words should yeah. should bring you to Glenn's Glenn's pages. And uh, if you're as excited as we are that I'm back, um, then please share this share this episode with your friends on your social media of choice. Let them know that there's something coming, probably probably once a month to start with, and then let's see how, how things build from there. Um, and until the next episode of Explore Finland Radio Show, goodbye. <laughs>